You would have thought Aaron Boone was crazy, right? This guy should be institutionalized or something, or high off his rocker. Hopefully we can be this amazing story and shock the world. Uh, Aaron Boone must know something we don't know because it's 5-2 to two Yankees. The Yankees are dominating the game. They, they should have won the first two games. Basically, you risk your cold dominating the Dodgers again and nasty Nestor to start Game 6, and now the Dodgers are wetting their pants in the Game 7. I, I say history will be made 3 to nothing against Dave Roberts, who came back 3 to nothing as a member of the Red Sox against the New York Yankees. It's time for the Yankees to complete the comeback in their 41st World Series appearance. And already, it's like this is a different baseball team I'm looking out there. The score is 5-2 because the Yankees' 52nd win against the Dodgers would be to win the World Series. And this would be the prophetic first 3 to nothing comeback in the World Series. But it's up to Showtime Otani to overcome this huge mental block of choking a World Series. How is he going to recover from this? Certainly, the Yankees still recovered five years later in 2009, and, and, and they have a strong chance of pulling this out because the Dodgers risk wearing out their bullpen. You don't want to wear out your bullpen in Game 4 and 5. Play chess, wear down the bullpen in Game 6 and Game 7 like they did against San Diego, but you see, that's exactly what they're risking. And Aaron Boone knows something we, we don't know about. Collapses Camacho, the Yankees 8 and 3 record against the Dodgers. Collapses Camacho, the Dodgers, for fourth World Series appearance in eight years. Never say never. If, they, if I have the Yankees win all season long, and, 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 and almighty, they should have won the World Series. They're, they're going to come back. They're, they're, this, uh, the Yankees, their they're end game right now is to simply just win the homestand. Win the homestand with their ace, and you bring all the chips to the blackjack table, and you allow Jorginho to forget about every prior World Series game he had, to simply be red hot in the greatest Game 6, Game 7 stretch known to mankind. This is what the Yankees have to do. Finish 5-2 and two at home in the postseason. Finish 5-2 and two or 5-3 and three or something like that. Let's see. They did 1-1 one and one against the KC. They did the 3-1 and one against... So, yeah, the Yankees finished 5-2 and two at home like their 52nd win in the playoffs. For go 5-2 and two at home in the postseason. We don't see the 6-2 and two hitting on the road. So, they won two games there. They, um... They won. Uh, uh, they went two and one. So they enter four and one on the road. They're four and three on the road. So I like the five and three on the road. Like comeback is Gamachi fifty three, and the six and three comeback on the road like Watcher Barra. So uh, Aaron Boone, he's just telling us what the script is, and it, it's a three to two count. It's five to two Yankees. Zero outs. The Dodgers are risking tiring their bullpen. This is the worst possible situation known to mankind. Yeah, he hit the baseball pretty well. His team's hitting the baseball a, a lot better. Now it, it is the bottom of the fourth, and there's two outs. But the Yankees ace, ace pitcher's on the mound tomorrow, and Garrett Cole is going to go eight innings and one earned run. And then suddenly you have the greatest World Series ever known to mankind. The greatest comeback is 181-73. and 73. I think Los Angeles Dodgers is Gamacho 181-73. So blowing a 3 and nothing lead, the Yankees were turning the favor against Dave Roberts. This is perfect. Just two games away from a Game 7. You get you get Garrett Cole winning on the mound now. Now you're one game away. The Yankees already have this game in the bag tonight. They'll be 1-3 and three in the series like L.A.'s Gamacho 23. Wonder what, what playoff game this would be for the great Jorginho. Who's going to win World Series MVP? You have Anthony Volpe after one game. The Yankees clearly need Jorginho to perform if they want to win the series. Jorginho, he doesn't even have to do anything tonight because the Yankees' bullpen is going to hold on and finish the job. Now, this game tonight definitely is about keeping Juan Soto. 57, 58, 59, 60. 58 home runs, and Jorginho would have 58 postseason games to his name before... A, a game six and seven back to LA. Uh, 
Aaron Boone, this is for his playoff legacy right here. There, Aaron Boone, the greatest comeback ever right here in the Yankees 41st World Series appearance. And Aaron Boone is talking crazy. But when I see a score like this, when you know he didn't put Garrett Cole out for tonight and the Dodgers are risking their bullpen, the Yankees can easily get back into the series. The comeback is Camacho, the judge, he knows 58 home runs for the season. You have a believer. You have a sure believer if they do win game five at the box. Let's wait until game five. But uh, uh, worth noting so far what is happening with Aaron Boone. Does he really believe they're coming back? Imagine if David Ortiz has to watch this. Ortiz on Fox. Ortiz part of the comeback. Imagine that. Hopefully we can go read this amazing story and shock the world. Shock the world is Camacho the Judge. You know, 62 home runs. Amazing story would be the Gamacho, the judge, you know, 60th playoff game of his career in a game seven of the World Series to be this amazing story is what Judge Gino you know, has said the Yankees will be. Uh, perfect. Perfect. I know Garrett Cole is going to go out and deal. I, I wonder if Nasty, Nasty Nestor is going to be the Fernando Valenzuela factor. This guy's going to be big time over at Dodger Stadium.